Hello and welcome back to LearnStock videos. This video talks about how to test for reducing sugars in a food sample. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Let's dive right in. A reducing sugar is a sugar that can act as a reducing agent. All monosaccharides such as glucose, galactose, and fructose are reducing sugars. Most disaccharides, such as maltose and lactose, are reducing sugars. Sucrose, a disaccharide, and all polysaccharides are not a reducing sugar. Testing for reducing sugars in a food sample is a common laboratory technique used to identify the presence and quantity of sugars that can act as reducing agents. The material needed include food sample, test tube, Benedict's solution, water bath, dropper, and Bunsen burner. Here's a more detailed step-by-step -step explanation of the procedure. Take about 2 centimeters cubed of the food sample and transfer it into a clean and dry test tube. Add an equal amount of Benedict's solution to the test tube containing the food sample. Ensure that the solution covers the sample completely. Use a dropper or pipette to mix the food sample and Benedict's solution thoroughly. This ensures that the reducing sugars in the food sample react properly with the reagent. Carefully heat the test tube in a water bath using a Bunsen burner or hot plate. Maintain the heating for about 5 minutes. The heat is crucial for the reaction between reducing sugars and Benedict's solution. After heating, carefully observe the color change in the solution. The color change indicates the presence and concentration of reducing sugars in the food sample. Interpretation of results is based on the observed color changes after conducting the reducing sugar test. A blue color indicates the absence of reducing sugars. A green color suggests trace amounts. A yellow color signifies a low amount of reducing sugar. An orange color indicates a moderate amount. And a brick red color signifies a large amount of reducing sugar in the tested food sample. This color scale serves as a qualitative guide to assess the concentration of reducing sugars present in the sample. Test for reducing sugar is commonly used in biochemistry and food science to assess the sugar content of various food samples and can provide valuable information about their composition. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our scientific adventures. Until next time, stay curious.